Hello, ladies and gentlemen. The book of the week is Principles of Philosophy by Rene Descartes, printed in 1706. Essentially, it's a combination of Descartes' two previous works, Discourse on Methods and Meditations on First Philosophy. The author began work on this treatise in 1641. The book is divided in four parts, so let's take a look. Part 1. The Principles of Human Knowledge Descartes writes this work to clarify the first principles from which knowledge as such can be derived. He urges everyone to question, but this doubt should be limited only to the knowledge of the truth and not to be extended to life practice. Doubting things, Descartes comes to the conclusion, we can't doubt that we exist while we are doubting. And this is the first thing that we come to know when we philosophize. Hence comes the famous maxim, I think, therefore I am, is the first and most certain thing to occur to anyone who philosophizes in a systematic way. Part 2. The Principles of Material Things This chapter deals with natural philosophy or what we would call science. Before elaborating on the topic, René Descartes comes with a proof that the physical world does exist. He proceeds with laying out the main principles of his physics. Most notably, the principle that in the absence of external forces, an object's motion will be uniform and in a straight line. Newton borrowed this principle from Descartes and included it in his own Principia. Part 3. The Visible Universe After posing his model of planetary motion, Descartes next moves on to attempt an account of how the observable universe came into being. Author is playing safe with church authorities and claims that he believes God created the universe fully formed. He explains the emergence of matter from congregation of particles, shaping three main elements out of which stars, havens and planets are formed. Part 4. The Earth Here the author manifests four forces, the general motion of celestial particles, gravity, light and heat. Descartes does not think of gravity as a universal attractive force, rather for him gravity was understood as just heaviness. After describing the nature of all major forces, he goes on explaining various terrestrial phenomena, such as earthquakes, the nature of various metals and minerals, the tides, flammability and the nature of fire, the nature of glass and magnetism. So as you can see, the Principles of Philosophy book was primarily intended to replace the Aristotelian curriculum then used in Europe, primarily in French and British universities. The work provides a systematic statement of René Descartes' metaphysics and natural philosophy and represents the first truly comprehensive mechanistic account of the universe. Once again, the book of the week was The Principles of Philosophy by René Descartes, 1706 edition. Thank you for watching and take care.